Hey, good to see you. I'm Jonathan Allers. I have gallium sprayed all over my studio, and that means this is destructive creativity. We are doing a feature episode on gallium. Good to see you. Let's get right down to it, but first, Destructive Creativity is a channel that exists for you, for science, and for fun, so make sure you subscribe. Click that link down there and have fun. What is gallium? Gallium is a chemical element on the periodic table of elements. It is a soft, silvery metal that has a melting point of 30 degrees Celsius. That means that if you were to hold a solid lump of gallium in your hand, it would melt using nothing but your body heat. It's very cool, and I'll do that later. Gallium was first discovered in 1875 by a French chemist who I'm not even going to pretend to be able to pronounce the name of. You can read it down there. If you know how to say it, let me know in the comments. Where do you buy it? Well, I get mine online. It's fairly expensive for a vial of about 100 grams of gallium. You're going to look at about 50 to 60 bucks. But it is really cool, and if you have some, it's amazing. Now, gallium melts at about 30 degrees Celsius, so just above room temperature but it doesn't boil until over 2200 degrees Celsius. That means that gallium has one of the largest ratios between melting and boiling of any element. So what are the different uses of gallium? Well, there's a few different applications, but 95% of all gallium is used in electronics, in semiconductors, in LEDs, light-emitting diodes, particularly the violet and blue LEDs. But gallium alloys really well with other metals, including plutonium, which means that there is an alloy of plutonium and gallium in the core of most nuclear bombs. Now, a couple of other fun facts about gallium. Well, it's super cooled very easily, which means that you can cool it below its freezing point and keep it in its liquid state fairly easily. When it freezes, gallium expands 3%, which means it cannot be stored in metal or glass containers because the containers quite simply will not handle it if they freeze. I'm going to actually take some aluminum foil here and I'm going to dissolve it into a few drops of liquid gallium. So mixing it all together, we have created a gallium aluminum alloy. Now you can take some of this mixture and drop it into a glass of water. And as you can see, it starts to fizz and bulk. That is because the aluminum is being oxidized by the water and releasing hydrogen gas, leaving behind gallium and water and a few other particles. Gallium is non-toxic. You can play with it, you can put it in your hand, you can roll it around, and honestly, it's super cool playing with some liquid metal. It does stain your hands, pretty much stains everything you touch, but it washes off with soap and water. It's not too bad. Thanks for watching this quick element feature on gallium. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you've played with gallium, let me know down in the comments. As always, for Destructive Creativity, I am Jonathan Allers.